Sup guys, it's GCO and today I am going to be here with a very special video as you can see on the screen. Right now we have the 96 rated Totti. He's like literally better than Pele. I don't understand how, why, but yeah, thank you for this. Um, I would show you on the screen right now uh, the way I did it, but uh, actually no, I might as well go on to my captures and show you the way I did it. It was quite an expensive way, but uh, some of the players I had in my club already, some of the players I had untradeable. I'll just go through it quickly when uh, it actually decides to load. It's going to be this one right here. So as you can see, Donnarumma, who we bought, uh, Cahill and Purbe, who's just uh, crappy SBC cards. Benucci, who I previously invested in, he's only gone up a little bit in price. Um, Baresi, who I just had in my club, because um, I've used him for a bit, but then didn't really... Uh, like him because he's only he's a centre back and he's only five foot nine. Toonstra, who I don't really need anymore because I've got right card uh, to play in the centre mid because he gets a strong link to the right back. Karstorp, who is absolutely unreal by the way. Uh, right back, uh, untradeable team of the season. Walker, right mid, eighty seven on out of it. Try invested in beforehand. Left mid, one to watch. Gaetano who bought at the start of the year for fifty seven and a half k. And he never went up in price apart from once where I should have sold him. But I didn't sell him because I thought he was going to get an inform and he got more. But he didn't. Then we got Perby and the crappy SBC card. Horao and Mbappe who I got untradeable from a league and premium upgrade. So that's how we did uh, the Totti one. Uh, we've also got Dirk Coyotes. I'll be reviewing uh, both of these players uh, in the game. See how they play. I've uh, put the custom, uh, not the custom types, the player roles on them. So they uh, get... Uh, Coit gets in behind and Totti gets forward just to give them more uh, of an attacking threat during the match. We've also got a pretty good team around them with uh, Jurgensen, uh, the two footy centre backs who I just decided to do to make the team look a bit better. I would have bought a special nine goal, but he's really expensive and there's not really any point. And then uh, Brem, who I had before. So, yeah, and, uh, the Coit one was pretty easy and didn't really cost me anything. Yeah, there's no real point showing you that because it's quite cheap to do. So I'm going to show you the in-game stats and the, how they get on in the gameplay. So as you can see for the first clip we've got, we've got Jurgensen who runs an on-goal and puts it wide early on in the game. Um, again, we see nine goal and play it into Mertens who is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Pugzilla joins the party which, you know, may have put Mertens off but uh, it's not a great uh, shot from him. Then nine goal and... Puts it into Jurgensen, great turn from him, and bang into the bottom corner to make it 1-0. I then go and check if my uh, microphone was working, but that's 1-0, and uh, the team seems to be playing well. I think uh, Coit was actually uh, directly involved in the build-up. I don't think he got the assist, but if he assisted the assist, if you know what I mean. Then another ball from Mertens to Jurgensen. Them two were just on fire at this point, but Jurgensen misses the header. Andreas Brem then uh, runs through, but... Uh, it's intercepted, Coit into Mertens, Mertens with a great turn, who was just absolutely electrifying, plays it into Brem, and then Brem finishes, which, why my left back's playing at centre forward, I have no idea, but hey, it worked, and uh, that's 2-0, uh, and uh, Andreas Brem bagging the goal, Totti and uh, Coit, uh, having both been involved in the build-up uh, earlier on at some stage, with uh, Coit being uh, pretty much directly involved in both of the goals so far, as you can see, uh, it's decent play from here. I'll make a mistake with my centre back and uh, Paolo Dybala with a shot, but Butland with a great save and then recovers to punch it over the bar. Uh, Butland actually played fantastically. Sometimes he's a bit inconsistent for me, as you can see, another great save there. Um, but in their uh, divisions, when I was playing uh, these few games, he was, at, he was an absolute rock. As you can see, there he comes out and uh, denies Dimitri Paye, but then Dybala is played through and Dybala. Uh, Scores past Butland, who had been consistent up to that point. I think that was a bit of a mistake, but for all the uh, great saves he'd made, uh, I allowed it. And then Andreas Brem with a corner going out of play, and Jurgensen overhead kicks it, not only to stop it from going out of play, but in. It was like this was just a fat. Like, that was going out of play. That wouldn't have even like hit the post and gone out. That would have just hit the side netting. But Jurgensen manages to keep it in with an overhead kick. And manages to score with that overhead kick. On to the second game, we've got Mertens causing trouble down the left again. I thought this was a penalty originally when Chris Smolin uh, gets booked here, but it wasn't actually a penalty because uh, the commentary line ended up saying it was a free kick and I think nothing comes of it. But Mertens, just with his agility, with his speed, was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think Toy swings this into the box and it's eventually cleared. But Mertens was just absolutely phenomenal and that was another example of just how much trouble uh, the 87 left forward uh, version of Mertens was causing. As you can see Kante here gets it into Vardy and that's an absolutely fantastic block from I think it was Karlsdorf who's just unbelievable as well. He's definitely one of my favourite fullbacks I've ever used. 
and then uh, Bremer who intercepts the header well and tries to clear it. Uh, nothing came of that. Then we have Mertens who's been playing well and gets his goal. It's an absolutely fantastic strike with the right foot. Uh, ends it with a front flip just to uh, cement how good of a goal it was. It was an absolutely fantastic strike. He rifled it from about 20 yards into the top corner. As you can see here he gets it with Damianovic late on in the game and it's just really summed up his game. He's not really had many chances. You can see the in-game of stats quite with just fantastic attack and positioning, stamina, shot power, uh, pretty much everything bar free kicks. He's got dark green and then the occasional light green. Um, uh, the uh, stat, uh, traits as well, as you can see, Totti with the one called player, the huge strength, the huge reactions, uh, finishing, passing, everything, oh, pretty much everything in passing is 99. Volley's 99, 5 star weak foot, 3 star skills, long shot take a distance shooter he's got it all and yeah that is the end of the video and uh, i hope you've enjoyed it please do like comment and subscribe to show appreciation i haven't been uploading in a while because uh, i've had exams and just trying to you know, recuperate my energy mostly after that i've been uh, doing some work experience as well so i haven't really had time so i hope you did enjoy this video as i said please do like comment and subscribe to show appreciation and i'll see you all later bye